Welcome to the CRC, our net zero all electric building here. Uh, what makes this a net zero facility is that we produce all of the energy needed for the entire building's usage here on site with our solar panels. So the part of getting to net zero is making sure that you have the least amount of energy usage for your square footage. And the way we accomplish that is through really tight building envelope construction. We have high efficient windows where we do have glass and then super insulated walls, floor, and ceiling. And that's what helps us lower that energy usage need for heating and cooling of the facility. Here we have 662 solar panels that are a combination of on the roof of this building. There's a solar awning on the south end of the building that faces the alley, as well as a carport roof over on the west parking lot that allows us to pick up the remainder of the solar needed to produce 100% of our electricity use throughout one year. Um, so another neat thing about this facility is we have energy producing treadmills. Those treadmills, they don't just power the screens that you see for the TV, they actually put energy back onto the grid and these are the only treadmills that we know of in the system that do that. So, all right, so part of the airtight uh, envelope as well as the super insulation is we, we not only control the air leakage by having a very tight building, but we, we also eliminate thermal breaks, which are something that transfer heat or cold back into the building, and that causes more energy and more heating and cooling needs from the HVAC system. So we're able to kind of tone that down by eliminating thermal breaks and having an airtight envelope. All right. So one of the biggest energy uses of any facility is the HVAC, and that is your heating and cooling loads for the building. So with all the windows that we have, these beautiful um, front, North facing windows, those let in a lot of energy. And so what we did by having this tight envelope is that we were able to downsize some of our HVAC equipment and get us to where we're using less energy to heat and cool our building. And that is a huge driving factor in meeting a net zero facility. Lastly, we have energy modeling here that tells us what our energy loads are supposed to be. And we are able to track our energy usage of each of our loads whether it's a lighting load, an HVAC load, or a plug load. All right, come check out our Net Zero building here at the CRC, all electric. We'll have a display here that will have real-time data for you to see how we're doing and how we're meeting our goals.